I saw someone earlier ask some about like the size, picture size being increased on Leo Dex because right, I'm not Leo Dex on in Leo because right now like they'll create the post elsewhere and then I guess like copy paste it or something to Leo yeah. Dex. Uh, we, in Leo. Some of you know that we <laughs> created our own uh, AWS solution for image hosting for in Leo. Um, and we're working on making it more efficient uh, in terms of file sizes and picture quality. So uh, that is something that we're working on. And if we want to transition to talking a little bit about um, Inleo, uh, I mentioned in the last couple of AMAs that we're focused entirely on bug fixes. Uh, so, you know, I've I've really listened to you guys and, and I know Eric was, uh, you know, telling me about this for months. Um, but I, I had a vision of the features that I wanted to roll out and the timeline I wanted for them. Um, so now that, you know, those features are largely in place, uh, we've spent the last month uh, really focused on bug fixes and just stability for Inleo. Um, and we're going to do the same thing in May. So there's been 20, I think about 26 bug fixes in the month of April so far. Um, and those are anything from, you know, tiny bugs to very major backend fixes, infrastructure fixes. Um, so we've spent the month really just focusing on stability and, and usability for the interface. Uh, and in May, we're going to do the same thing uh, and hopefully get another, you know, I, I have a list of about 50 bugs indexed right now uh, that I want to see fixed by the end of May. Um, and I'm going to spend some more time looking through the feedback hashtag today, uh, gathering your feedback and, and figuring out what else we should fix. Um, so if you have any bugs that are pressing and, and bothering you, uh, write a thread. Uh, include as much information as you can. Screenshots are very helpful. Um, and then use the hashtag, hashtag feedback. I actually read that hashtag every single day. And a lot of what the devs do is pulled from that tag. So that is the number one way to communicate your frustrations, issues, suggestions uh, to the team is using that hashtag. Uh, and like I said, I'm watching it all the time. Um, and yeah, it's uh, I I'm pretty happy with the progress this month in terms of making the UI better. Uh, and there's a lot more fixes on the way. There's a lot of infrastructure improvements that will kind of like have cascading effects. Um, you know, they're like lead dominoes that we need to knock over in order to make the user experience better. Uh, but hopefully you guys have noticed there's less app errors. Uh, there's just generally more stability. Um, certain things like editing comments have been fixed uh, and a number of other issues. Uh, we also changed, and this was a, a suggestion by uh, Sunseeker, um, we changed the uh, the Leo tab to show uh, all blog posts that are made from inleo.io uh, because before it was pulling from the Leo finance community. So now if you use the Leo or on, on the articles tab, if you use the Leo dropdown, uh, it'll show you anything published from inleo.io. Um, with some of these front end changes, uh, like what I just described, we're also making a lot of changes with curation uh, and just in general, you know, we're, we're trying to make sure that rewards are flowing to people that are using the UI uh, and then also to people that are premium. So it's like, if you use the UI, you're going to get rewarded a lot more heavily with Leo.voter. And then if you layer on being premium, it's going to be like an exponential factor on the upvotes that you receive. That's my vision of how curation uh, should work. It's like, do you use the UI? If yes, then you get rewarded. If no, then, you know, Leo.voter will skip over your, your content. Um, and then, you know, the second branch of that is if you're using the UI uh, and your premium, then you'll get even bigger upvotes. So that's kind of the idea behind that uh, curation setup. 